The Paul Nelson Aquatic Center in Santa Maria is closed for improvements. That center will be closed for two months and during the closure, the pool's chemical operating systems will be worked on. They will also upgrade the pump room with modern equipment. Lap swim sessions will be temporarily provided at Allen Hancock College and the Abel Maldonado Community Youth Center will remain open during pool's closure. And Dave is joining us with more on our forecast. Uh, you saw Taylor out there. I did. Day. It was so windy out there. Yes, this was a wind event we expected to happen. Now, the good news is this is a big trough of low pressure. It could have been another rain type system, but this particular system, moisture starved. But wow, take a look at some of our camera coverage. That's from 805 webcams up along the Cambria coastline. What's next? Colder, warmer? I'll let you know my forecast still ahead of five. And up next, gas prices are on the rise again after an OPEC oil production cut. How much a gallon will cost an average here at home? Plus, NASA announces the four astronauts who will fly to the moon next year, including a Cal Poly alum. to the latest oil prices surge today as the U.S. benchmark rose nearly five and a half percent to $80 a barrel. And it comes after the world's top oil producers said yesterday they will cut supplies of crude oil by more than one million barrels a day. It means inflation could remain elevated longer and drivers might have to pay more at the pump. The cuts are expected to start next month and last until the end of the year. In the meantime, we are not seeing a huge difference in gas prices locally. The average price for a regular gallon of gas in California is 4.83, that is up 1 cent from a week ago, and in San Luis Obispo County, drivers are paying an average of 5.09 a gallon, no change from a week ago. And in Santa Barbara County, the average gas price is 4.83 per gallon, that is also up 1 cent from last week. Well, right now, San Luis Obispo is a hot spot for those who are looking to buy a second home. KSBY News reporter Mackenzie Diaz talked to a local realtor about the trend. Mackenzie? Yeah, a new study by Smart Asset ranked the San Luis Obispo area 25th out of more than 400 metro areas across the United States where people are buying second homes. If you're a buyer, I would say don't give up. It's actually a really good time to be out looking for a home. Realtors say right now is a great time to buy a house in San Luis Obispo because there are fewer people looking for properties. Even though there are some things in the world that are causing some trends of, of some sort of a recession, housing is not one of them. Lindsay Harn has been in real estate since 2008 and says right now there are few houses on the market. Very high demand here and very, very low supply. She says most people who want to buy a second house either want to use it as a vacation home or investment property. It's a little bit um, hit or miss. It's a little bit of who you know or what you know. Um, and so it doesn't feel as equal opportunity as and, and as understandable as some other larger cities. The Hansons both grew up and were married in San Luis Obispo. They kept a home here while living in New York, but ultimately ended up back where they started. Our goal when we bought our house in 2018 was to eventually retire here at some point. The Hansons wanted to raise their children in San Luis Obispo and now call the country club home. The number one thing for me of living here is the lifestyle for our children. Even though cost of living is expensive, it might not be as much as other cities in California right now. Clearly still get a lot for um, what you're spending, even though these prices are getting, you know, high and they're getting up there. Um, it seems to be a decent discount compared to the rest of the state. Jessica shares that it's not uncommon for people to have a second home in San Luis Obispo. We know many members um, are not even permanent residents here and they have second residences um, in this area because it is such a draw. Harn tells me that the lack of inventory as a home buyer or someone moving to the area means it could take a lot longer for someone looking to buy a house. In the studio, Mackenzie Diaz, KSBY News. Mackenzie, thank you. And Smart Asset ranked Ocean City, New Jersey as the number one spot in the country for second homes. 
Well, NASA has revealed the names of the four astronauts who will fly to the moon next year. They are former U.S. Navy fighter pilots Reed Wiseman and Cal Poly alum Victor Glover, veteran space station astronaut Christina Koch, and rookie Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen. The four astronauts will crew the Artemis II mission to fly around the moon in late 2024. It is the first moon crew in more than 50 years, and I'm excited for this. I'm Me glad too. to see Victor Glover there too. It's fantastic. And the way they do these announcements now, multimedia and all that stuff, just great. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm excited. Can't wait for it to happen. Okay, this is what's happening right now. This is Morro Bay 805 webcams. You can see all that wind is whipping up the water here, and that's between the rock and some of the boats out here closer to shore. I mean, you get out into the open water, and it is really whipping out there. Currently, we're looking at temperatures in the 50s across the board. Other than the south coast, a few scattered low 60s here, but the winds are 20 to nearly 35 miles per hour. That's the one minute average. The gusts are past 40 in Santa Maria Slow and Cambria here. Santinez 32 and even the deep interior with 20 mile per hour gusts. So we do have some advisories including the high wind warning all the areas here in the lighter blue color and that is until 5 a.m. 30 to 40 gusting to 60 and that's happening already 15 to 25 gusts to 40. In fact the gusts are outside of that 40 mile per hour range currently so it is definitely very windy out there. Once the winds back off later on tonight near the coast, some of these coastal valleys are going to get frosty, including the Edna Valley here into the Santa Maria Valley, parts of perhaps the eastern Lompoc Valley, but the Santinez Valley is certainly one of these areas that could see some patchy frost. And we have freeze water.